What's up, opportunity cost investors? I've always found it fascinating how when financial markets are at their worst, like with the pandemic that we've seen in 2020, that the people who need resources the most find the resources the most sparse at that time. It just seems so backwards to me. It's like this time I was telling my fiance I've always wanted to volunteer at a soup kitchen on Thanksgiving, and she informed me I can do a lot better by volunteering between the holidays because it's the holidays that brings attention to volunteering and the time that they have the most support already. While most of us were quarantined in 2020, some of us have been able to find some really unique ways to create a side hustle, make passive income, lift spirits, and yeah, I don't think I've seen enough videos on how we can leverage those skills and income that we created to give back to the community that needed it the most. Which is why in this video, I wanna to talk to you about one of the ways I created and some unique creative way to give back. So that way, if you wanted to, you could too. And I can tell you why I'm sending $26 to Bill Gates. Prior to 2020, I was constantly starting and restarting writing my book, Opportunity Cost Investing. And it wasn't until I was quarantined in 2020 when I was finally able to build this book from the ground up and then self-publish it on Amazon. It was amazing to finally have a copy in my hands. I even donated a copy to my local library which I never got to see because as soon as I donated it, the library closed and became a daycare for the community and the people who needed it. Although it did show up on the online catalog, except it looked like this. If my book was an autobiography, it'd probably be a collection of stories just like this one. Believe me when I say no part of the process was harder than trying to figure out what price you should put the book at. I mean, at one hand, you spend hundreds of hours and hundreds of dollars trying to put together a book that you think will return a hundred times the investment to the reader. So yeah, you wanna have a price on it, but at the same token, I'm writing a book about saving money, so I also wanna give it away for free. So I decided I was gonna meet halfway in the middle and give people a book that was extremely cheap and donate half the proceeds to the charity. When it came down to choosing which charity, it was a no-brainer to me. And I know I'm gonna sound super basic right now, but I don't care. I absolutely love Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett has decided he's gonna put virtually his entire estate into the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. So I decided to follow in his footsteps and be a true Buffetteer and choose Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for the charity I wanted to donate to. Recently, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation put out their 2021 annual letter, which is linked in the description below, and we'll just touch on some of the salient parts now. So far, they've donated $1.75 billion to combat COVID-19 and has mostly gone to medical supplies. Now they're switching their focus on mass manufacturing at reasonable costs and trying to reach parts of the world that are really hard to get to. Of course, just because there's a pandemic doesn't mean the rest of the world's problems can be put to pause. Unfortunately, they still continue, which is okay with the foundation because they still have centers focused on education, equality for women, and equality for minorities. They really say that each life is equal, which I super agree with. Also, we've learned a lot through the pandemic, such as there's a segment of the population that really is disadvantaged and that all these issues are really intertwined. The Gates family then goes on to say that combating COVID-19 and these pandemics will cost the world billions of dollars, but they'll ultimately end up saving trillions, never mind the millions of lives they'll actually save. However, not all of the annual letter was rosy though. There was even this one unsettling part where they said until the vaccination reaches everyone, new clusters will keep popping up. These clusters will grow and spread, schools and offices will be shut down again, and the cycle of inequality will continue. Although, they ended on an optimistic note saying that the pandemic will someday come to an end. I guess that means I should start getting used to wearing actual pants. Duh. So every year when they write their annual letter and I tally up how much I owe them, or there's an event like this pandemic, I hope to make a video supporting an initiative to give back. So without any further ado, let's hop onto the Gates Foundation website and drop Bill Gates the whopping $26.00 check that I owe him and hope that in future years, we'll see a couple more zeros put at the end.
But that's all I have for you in this short video. If you found the content helpful or you like the quality, make sure you buy stock in that subscriber count and comment your cost basis in the comment section below so that way when we become a huge channel, you can say you were there in the beginning. Thanks for watching. Until next time.